maybe the biggest obstacles for us today to connect with the informational and uh, spiritual realm is that we are constantly driven to see material and energy um, manifestations of those realms. So in older times we wanted to have the spirits knocking, we wanted to see the halo around the heads of saints. Now today we want to see this thermal imaging, the manifestation of acupuncture meridians, or we want to see this phase contrast imaging, the changes that our healing does, or we want to see this electrodermal screening, the energy changes that our therapy has, where actually the most important changes happen on the informational and spiritual realm. And they can happen without any manifestation, without any changes on the energy and matter field. In fact, most of the time they happen first without those changes and changes happen later. So, one of the reasons that we always want to see those energy and matter changes is that our life is too boring. We want to see something exciting, something that's extraordinary, that's different, that nobody has seen. And <clears throat> this driving for being exceptional has a much more deep impact on our life because we don't see what is close to us. We don't see all the beauty that is around us. <clears throat> Not only here in Brazil, of course, here in Brazil it's more, more obvious, but everywhere. We want to see the exceptional. And that which is not exceptional, which doesn't create a dynamic level equilibrium, we just don't see. I'm making this movie here at the nice guest house where we will have our aim training and the accommodation for our, for, for our stay here in Abadjanya, the place of John of God. And I'll give you some taste of this beautiful place. But it's just a, it's just a sample of the many places that are so beautiful and vibrant in Brazil. And that show us that we don't have to look for energy and matter realizations on an esoteric level. We can see it in every moment of our life here. And I invite you to come here to get a new approach to seeing the world. And in this way to see what is really, what can be wrong with the way we see our world that makes us and our patients sick. See, this is, <laughs> this is a very interesting creature here. <laughs> he is actually free here in the, in the, in the hotel. And then asked why does he not fly away? And they told me he grew up with chicken. So he does not know how to fly. And he wakes up with the cocks in the morning and does the, makes the same sounds. And in a way, this is exactly how the life is of most people. They imitated somebody or something and they think they are chicken, but they have much different possibilities. Just like our friend here, Hosa. And it's all information. What we can do in our life is not only what we believe in, but we, what we know is possible. And for him, it's just not possible to fly. So come here to Brazil and learn to fly on the informational level. <laughs>